All right, now it's time to extract our maps. Now there's a number of things to note here. First of all, these highly layered maps that DDU has created for us up here, I'm going to want to keep. So we can go up here to our map exporter. We can set a path where we want our maps to go. If you want to have something besides base material, as you can see up here where it says base material, albedo, which is basically diffuse, base material, specular, you can put in whatever you want here. If it's the name of your game, whatever you want to do. And then you can choose what type of format you want. Targa, PNG, TIFFs, PSDs, etc., etc. 8 or 16 bit. You also have a calibration profile. And this will help calibrate the materials for specific game engines or renderers or PBR materials, whatever you want to do. Uh, for example, I'll be pulling in a Unity, so we have Unity here. That's all right. For now, I'm going to leave this at uncalibrated. And then I would normally export that. Now, for a single polygon piece, I'm, I'm not really that worried about it. And for the purposes of this training, I'm not really worried about it. So I'm not actually going to export these. But you can export those, and it will bring in the normal Photoshop save dialog, and you can save them out. But I'm pretty happy with this. So there's just a few other things we have to do. And you know what? Now that I mention it, there is something else that we want to go to. And that is uh, this copper. I was, I was pretty persnickety about what I did with this copper. So I'm going to grab this layer here. And I'm going to put this Save a Smart Material button. And then I'm going to have to go find, because uh, it's a custom one, that's fine. And we're just going to make this uh, Steve Copper. Because it sounds a lot like Steve Cropper, a famous blues player. And we'll save that out. Wait and wait and wait while it builds all this spectacular stuff. All right, and you can see that we have our preset saved here, which I'm pretty okay with. So now we'll be able to come back to that if we want to build other pieces that come along with this. And we can do this for everything. Let's go ahead and do our varnished cherry that we bumped the color on a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that too. Call this varnished cherry dark. And we'll let it do its little thing again. All right, and we saved that successfully, and we've got a little bit darker cherry going on. So life is good. Now we can just go about getting the maps that we want to extract. Because I'm working in Unity, I am just going to save out a couple of maps. And because it's such a simple project. And uh, the wall floor is fine. I'm going to save them out as TIFFs. So we'll just name this uh, Wall Diffuse, and that's fine, and this is all okay. You may get one that says layers will increase the file size, blah, 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 blah. That's okay. We're going to deal with that shortly. And now we're going to look at our base material, Specular, and this is bad. But I actually think, uh, I'm going to scroll down here. On this varnished cherry, 
And I'm going to double click this. I'm actually going to bump that up a little bit. Because I want more shine to it. I want it to be like the wood you see in a car interior. I want it nice and polished. So we bump this up. I'm pretty happy with this. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to save this out. And we'll call this wall spec. And we will make that a tiff. Okie dokie. And we're also going to save a tiff of our normal. You can pull PSDs and PNGs into Unity. But I find that once in a while you get some bizarre color information coming through. I don't know if it's the file size or what, but I try to avoid them. And we will call this uh, normal. And that's okay. All right, and now that we have these saved, one of the things that makes the files huge is all these layers. So we're just going to uh, hold down shift and select everything here. And we're going to flatten this image. We're going to do the same thing with our spec. Now that we've adjusted it. And remember, I would have normally for a regular piece already saved PSDs of this. So flattening the TIFFs isn't going to hurt anything. We've got the original files. And for this training, we'll be fine like this. And the diffuse, we're also going to flatten. Because these days in game engines, it's less about lots and lots of polygons, and it's more about lots and lots of memory space. So we want to do what we can to reduce texture memory as much as possible. So we have our flattened specular map. I'm going to hit Control A and Control C to copy that. I'm going to go over to my diffuse map to channels and down here on the new layer button I'm going to click new layer to create an alpha and then Control V to paste that in. And now we have our specularity saved into the alpha channel of our diffuse map, which is the way that Unity does it. This also brings up the reason why I save these as TIFFs. Almost any engine out there will accept Targas, and for a long time that was kind of my go-to format to save stuff out in. Then I found out something interesting in Unity. I was having trouble with Targas with getting my specularity to work out, and I'm just going to save this out while I rant. Basically, uh, my specularity slider in Unity was controlling how shiny everything was, but individual parts didn't have different amounts of shininess like they were supposed to. And I couldn't figure out why, because I knew I'd made my map right. Well, in the end, it all came down to saving it in a Targa file, and Unity cannot read that specular information from a Targa file but it can from a TIFF. So that's why I'm telling everyone to save these as TIFFs. All right, now in the uh, next video, we're gonna go ahead and grab our little chunk of wall geometry and a couple of our maps, and we're gonna throw them together in Unity. See you there.